I didn't have much sleep last night. I think it was only one hour. But I did wake up and it took a, a minute or two wondering if this was a dream. But I have been doing that a lot because so many things has happened this past year. And it feels surreal. I cannot believe I'm an Oscar winning actor. Yay! My mom is 84 years old, and she's at home watching. Mom, I just want an Oscar. I was just like a normal kid when I was in Vietnam, and all of a sudden my parents decided to flee Vietnam, and I didn't understand why or, or, or you know, what was happening. It was in the middle of the night where my dad and five of my other siblings escaped on a boat, we got to Hong Kong, and all of a sudden I was in a refugee camp, surrounded with, with, with guards and, 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 and police officers. And I was there for an entire year until we were granted political asylum, and I got on a plane for the first time and landed in Los Angeles. And as fate would have it, four years later, I landed a job in a movie called Indiana Jones, which changed my life and I didn't understand it until I was much older. And I realized that what my parents has done for us. And I always wanted to thank them for a long time, but I grew up in a family where we just don't share that kind of emotions with each other. And last night, I, I, I wanted to do that publicly. I wanted the world to know how much my parents meant to me. So to be able to do that on the biggest stage, that felt amazing. Right now, I don't have a job. I don't have anything planned. So for me to be in this position, it's so surreal to me. I was so used to calling my agents and I would say, hey, is there anything out there for me? And the answer would always be the same. I'm so sorry, there's nothing, but I'll, I'll keep on checking and I'll, I'll, I'll call you if something comes along. It's still very clear to me how difficult those days were. I was just constantly hoping, praying, for a good role that would come along. And, and of course, you know, it, 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 it didn't. It didn't come. Those days of just sitting by the phone, and you gotta say back then, you know, we didn't have cell phones. I was always worried about leaving the house because I was afraid that the phone would ring and I might miss it. And, you know, when there was nothing there, you know, I had to make this shift to, to do something else. So I went to film school, I graduated. And, you know, when I walked on set, it was a different feeling. You know, I'm behind the camera now, but I was still very happy to be there. I was still happy that, that I, I, I'm able to contribute to making movies. But because of that experience, now when I walk on a movie set, I see everybody. I see the production assistants, I see the gaffer, I see the boom operator. I've done all that, you know, and it made me appreciate every single position on, on the crew. I hope that because of that experience, it made me a better person, it made me a better actor. Everything is still so fresh in my mind. And that's why moving forward, I'm still really scared, even though I just won an Oscar, but I'm still very fearful of, of what tomorrow brings. I had a conversation with my agent and I said, I'm so worried that this is only a one-time thing. I've been down this road before and I'm so afraid that history is gonna repeat itself. And I said, please, whatever you do, can you make sure that doesn't happen? In fact, I attended an event and I was sitting next to Kate Blanchett. And this was the very conversation that, that I had with her. Because I don't have anything planned, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. And I asked her this very question, and I said, how do you choose your projects? Because I'm afraid that I'm gonna do maybe one more and then I'll be gone again. And she said, you know, just go with your heart and be irresponsible. Like, don't worry about what other people think. Choose something that, 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 that you believe in. Choose something that you love. And things will work out. And the Oscar goes to Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. All I want. Right before it happened, I looked over to Michelle and I, I, I you know, I, I knew she was very nervous. 
uh, knowing what that moment would be for her, for all those people, like she said, that looks like her. We held each other's hands and we were just hoping and praying that her name would be called. And they did. And the Oscar goes to everything, everywhere, all at once. When I read that Harrison was going to be presenting, but then there was no details what category he was going to be presenting. Secretly, I was hoping that he would be presenting for Best Picture because I thought we had an opportunity to win. And sure enough, when he opened that envelope and he read it, it made that win, our win for Best Picture, even more special. And when I ran up on stage and gave him a hug, all of a sudden, I just couldn't help myself. I just want to shower this man with all my love the way I wanted to shower my love for Stephen. Because these two men, along with George Lucas, has given me so, so, so much. And I, I, had a, I could not believe this. I gave Harrison Ford a big kiss on the cheek. You're <laughs> not <laughs> Knowing where I came from, knowing what it was like. Forget about 30, 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, and to where we are now. Yes, the landscape looks so different. We have a seat at the table now. Our voices are being heard, our faces are being seen. It feels amazing. This is what we wanted for the longest, longest time. And that's why I'm so grateful to all those people that came before me, all those struggles that they, that they faced. I can see them just laying one brick at a time, paving the road for, for all of us to be here, and us making history again and again. And I can't help to think about all those people that's gonna come after, and all those opportunities that they will have that we didn't have when we were much younger. I'm very optimistic, very hopeful, and I'm just so, thankful to all those people that, that asked for change and contributed to those changes and create all these opportunities for us to be here. Yes, it feels amazing. Yeah.